Hi and welcome to the Tristan channel and in this video I'll be talking about the secret seal or and the ring of Solomon. Um, <clears throat> the seal of Solomon or the ring of Solomon in some cases is the signet ring attributed to King Solomon in medieval Islamic tradition, later also in the Jewish Kabbalah and in Western occultism. It was often depicted in either a pentagram or a hexagram shape, the latter also known as Shield or of David or Star of David in Jewish tradition. This magic ring variously gave Solomon the power to command the jinn, both good and evil, or to speak with animals. Due to the proverbial wisdom of Solomon, his signet ring, or its supposed design, came to be seen as an amulet or talisman or magical symbol or character in medieval and renaissance magic occultism and alchemy. <clears throat> the legend of the Seal of Solomon was developed primarily by medieval Arabic writers who related that the ring was engraved by the name of God and was given to the king directly from heaven. The ring was made from brass and iron and the two parts were used to seal written commands to good and evil spirits respectively. In one table, sorry, more, sorry one tell, a demon, either Asmodeus or Sakir, obtained possession of the ring and ruled in Solomon's stead for 40 days in the variant of the tell of the ring of Poly Polycrates from Herodotus. <clears throat> the demon eventually threw the ring into the sea where it was swallowed by a fish, caught by a fisherman and served and was served to Solomon. In Islamic astrologically, the beast of the earth is equipped with the with both the, st the staff of Moses and the seal of Solomon, and uses the latter to stamp the nose of the unbelievers. <clears throat> the, the date of the sorry, the date of origin legend surrounding the seal of Solomon is difficult to establish. It is known that a legend of a magic ring with the possess which the possessor could command demons was already current in the first century. Josephus. 8.2 telling of one as as Leah who used such a ring in the presence of Ves Ves Vespasian sorry but the association of the name of Solomon with such a ring is medieval <laughs> the Tratsiat Gitten of the Mishnah has a story involving Solomon Asmodeus and a ring with the divine name engraved <clears throat> specific the specification of the design of the seal as a hexagram seems to arise from a medieval Arab tradition. The name Solomon's seal was given to the hexagram engraved on the bottom of drinking cups in Arab tradition. In Arabian Nights, chapter 20, Simbad presented Harun al-Rashid with such a cup on which the table of Solomon was engraved. <clears throat> Hexagrams feature prominently in Jewish esoteric literature from the early medieval period, and some authors have hypothesized that the tradition of the Solomon's of Solomon's seal may possibly predate Islam and date to early rabbinical esoteric tradition. Or to early alchemy in Hellenistic Judaism in 3rd century Egypt, but there is no positive evidence for this and most scholars assume that the symbol entered the Kabbalist tradition of medieval Spain from Arabic literature. The representation as a pentagram, by contrast, seems to arise in the Western tradition of Renaissance magic, <clears throat> which was in turn strongly influenced by medieval Arab and Jewish occultism. 
White Kennet 1660 to 1728 makes reference to a pentangle of Solomon with the power of exercising demons. The hexagram or Star of David, which became a symbol of Judaism in the modern period, was placed on the flag of Israel in 1948, has its origins in 14th century depictions of the Seal of Solomon. <clears throat> In 1354, King of Bohemia Charles IV prescribed for the Jews of Prague a red flag with both David's shield and Solomon's seal, while the red flag with, with which Jew, the Jews met King Matthias of Hungary in the 15th century showed two pentagrams with two golden stars. Peter de Abanos Heptameron 1496 makes ref reference to the pentacle of Solomon, actually a hexagram drawn on the floor on which the magician has to stand to invoke various demons. Lippmann Moses Buschenevel in 1818 wrote a tragedy with the title The Signet Ring of Solomon. An order of the Seal of Solomon was established in 1874 in Ethiopia where the ruling house claimed descent from Solomon. Another variation of the Seal of Solomon exists and is referred to as the Sacred Seal of Solomon. This version of the ring presents a more complex image. The Sacred Seal of Solomon depicts a circle that holds smaller circles within. At the centre is a symbol of a tower-like structure. The tip of the tower goes all the way to heaven, while the base extends all the way to the earth. This is a clear depiction of the interconnectedness between humans and God. It shows a powerful connection between the physical and divine realms. The Sacred Seal of Solomon symbolises peace, stability and harmony that comes with bridging the chasms that exist between opposites. The seal tells us that it's possible to achieve peace and understanding in diversity. The Sacred Seal of Solomon shows the harmony and balance that exists in science and the beauty of nature. It shows that undeniable connection in astrology, astronomy, magic and medicine. The Seal of Solomon is much sought after because it is a physical representation of the great wisdom possessed by King Solomon. Those who wear this seal as an amulet fill in charge of their lives. The seal, the seal symbol gives them the grace and divine wisdom to make good decisions in like. The seal of Solomon also gives the wearer a powerful feeling of being connected to the divine. This, the symbolic meaning of the seal of Solomon has to do with the flow of of positive energies between heaven and earth. It empowers one to harness the powers of the four elements. If you choose the seal of Solomon to be engraved in your personal items, it means you want to be at peace with earth, fire, water and air. Over the ages, the Seal of Solomon has been used by spiritualists to drive away demons and cast out spells. The Seal has featured prominently among practitioners of witchcraft or magic. It has also been used to carry out exorcisms. Early Christians and ancient Jews use the Seal of Solomon to ward off evil. They have their seal inscribed on their personal items as a way of keeping evil 
and dark forces at bay. In modern times, the Seal of Solomon is used as a symbol of magic and power by the Western occult. Other people still revere it as a strong religious symbol, the same as they do to the Star of David or the Cross. The Seal of Solomon has been used as a symbol of protection from way back. It was used in medieval times to fight off evil and demonic influences. In more recent days, this symbol has become favoured in the world of fashion, art and beauty. It has gained importance in the Western occult groups where it is used as an essential symbol of expressing spiritual beliefs. The Seal of Solomon remains revered among the trendsetters of the day. It also occupies a hallowed position among various religious groups. Legend also has it that Solomon using this ring began to bring demons under his control, beginning with Orneus, the demon who had been tormenting the son of Solomon's master workman. By questioning the demons whom he, su he summoned, Solomon was able to learn their names, how they persecuted human beings, and how they could be countered. <clears throat> Additionally, the king was able to make these demons work for him. For example, Solomon commanded the demon Asmodeus to help with the construction of, of the great temple. Once the construction of the temple was finished, Solomon had the demons imprisoned in, bot in bottles. Oh, me. These bottles were said to have been buried under the monument that the demons helped build. In one story, the demons were released when Nebuchadnezzar captured Jerusalem. When the temple was destroyed, the Babylonians found the bottles buried by Solomon, thinking they contained gold. The soldiers opened the bottle bottles, thus releasing the demons back into the world. And there you go. A short an informative video on the secret seal of Solomon. If you like this video, hit the like. And if you're new to the channel, then how about subscribing? It'd be great to have you here. So, until the next video, take care and be well.